fucking dirt up. Hey, yo, where the f Kwani at, yo? Kwani, where the f you at? Ah! This has gone too far. From the disrespecting the dead to the clout chasing. On February 24th, YBC Duel posted to his Instagram. In the video, he can be seen digging up dirt in a cemetery. February 24th is the birthday of Jaquan Williams, who was just 15 years old when he was killed. Whatever Jaquan did or did not do in his life, he is still a kid and his life is over now. In January of 2021, police released surveillance images of two men wanted for murdering a 15-year-old boy in West Philly. Video shows Jaquan Williams, a Q Raw, walking in the area of 40th and Cambridge Streets when he was struck in the head by gunfire from two suspects. Q Raw was loved by 39th Street and the Mont. YBC slash YFA would go on to claim this wreck and disrespect the deceased 15-year-old Moore by mentioning him by the wrong name and calling him Q Rizzy instead of Q Raw and saying they were smoking on Q Rizzy. We gon' blend the troll on for the past another day, bitch, watch him out. We them youngers that hop out and stand on beds. Get that drop, cause he was thinking with his dick, that's what it is. We get over, know they mad, cause what's the name, got put to bed. They shot you really from a block away and still pop his punk. That boy green. Rokey rolling dead, out to try to stop the punt. Pro Rizzy trolley in the air, the shit be numbing If Rizzy never crossed the street, they probably never tapped his head. I believe in letting the dead rest. I think we should let 15 year olds rest in peace. Folklore and anecdotes will tell you that karma and its relationship to letting the dead rest is real. No matter if it's because it's considered taboo or for religious or spiritual reasons, to most people it's wrong and I can't find a justifiable reason to disrespect the dead to this level, no matter what he did when he was living. If you want to talk morality, I would argue that the harm it does is to the living family members. The pain of having to relive the trauma of losing a loved one is what makes it immoral to me. You can argue the morality of killing and get back in street code, but this is unjustifiable. Clout is the only reason I can come up with. Let's talk about that for a second. YBC Duel has a ton of clout, mainly built up on his nickname as Mr. Disrespectful, and he don't care who you are, he will disrespect you. Duel plays a dangerous game with him and all his loved ones' life when he pulls stunts like this. In April of 2021, a video of a Chicago drill rapper, Tilla, emerged and it was him disrespecting a man's grave who was killed four years earlier named Jonathan Searcy. Tilla was filmed urinating on the actual gravesite of this man and that would be the biggest mistake of his life and one that he will regret for as long as he lives. Seven-year-old girl shot and killed at a fast food drive through in the Holman Square neighborhood. Brittany Garzillo is live for us outside Strozier Hospital. Brittany? Well, Corey and Don, we've learned the name of that little girl, seven-year-old Jaslyn Adams. Her grandmother wants her to be remembered as a fun and lovable, free-spirited child. She says that Jaslyn was with her dad at McDonald's, something she loved to do when this tragedy happened. Her grandmother says uh, Jaslyn's father, Jonte Adams, was also shot and taken here to Stroger Hospital. The family says he is stable as they plead with the community to stop this gun violence. Please put the guns down. Our kids want to play. My kids can't even go out the door. Seven-year-old Jaslyn Adams killed in a shooting late Sunday afternoon at a McDonald's on the city's west side. Real sweet child. Chicago police say the shooting happened at about 420 in the afternoon in the 3200 block of West Roosevelt. Video of the scene shows a car in the drive through riddled with bullet holes through the back window and trunk. Jaslyn's grandmother says she was with her father, Jonte Adams, when the shots were fired. Police say the two were inside of the car when the man was shot in the torso and the little girl was shot multiple times. Every parent done took a child to McDonald's to get something to eat, not to get some bullets. To the shooter, why? Why? 
if you had any kids, have you ever took your kids to McDonald's? Have you ever took your kids to eat? A CPD unit on the scene rushed Jaslyn to the hospital where she died. You got cowards out here killing and shooting babies in Chicago. Totally, I want to say it another way, but it's totally unacceptable. Well, Corey and Don, we saw at least 40 evidence markers on the scene as area detectives were investigating. Of course, that investigation continues because police say right now no one is in custody. According to the Associated Press, 29-year-old Jante Adams, or Tilla, was the intended target of a shooting at a local McDonald's drive thru but instead, the suspects wound up fatally shooting his 7-year-old daughter, Jaslyn. Eyewitnesses reported that a car approached Adams' gray infinity from which two individuals emerged and began firing at the vehicle, unleashing a barrage of bullets. The young girl was hit by six bullets while Adams sustained a bullet wound to the abdomen. Both were urgently taken to John Stroger Hospital. However, Jaslyn succumbed to her injury. It doesn't take a genius to realize that acts like this put an even bigger target on your back than normal. The concept of karma originating from ancient Indian religions such as Hinduism, Buddhism, and Jainism suggests that every action has consequences that affects one's future, either in this life or in subsequent reincarnations. According to this belief, the nature of one's actions, whether positive or negative, determines the quality of the karma accrued. Disrespecting the dead can be considered a negative action, potentially leading to negative karma. This is because such behavior goes against the principles of respect, empathy, and compassion towards others, values that are highly regarded in many spiritual and moral philosophies and in American culture. These guys seem sick and twisted in the head, and there is no denying that. So desensitized to what the rest of our morals are that they think this will help their music career. DMV rapper OG Man Man made a song called The Truth, dissing his friend turned enemy Big Flock. He was making fun of a man called C. Diddy, a friend of Flock, who died under questionable circumstances. OG Man Man and his friend Big Flock fell out when Flock ended up calling Man Man a snitch after an argument over a girl. That's the long and short of it. And to get back to Flock, Man Man made this diss song to send a message to not play games with his name. First off, nigga, let me load my pistol. Flock sneak, this my don't want no issue. Keep playing, nigga, I swear to God they gon' miss you. Nigga, you a bitch, that's why I can't fuck with you. I know why you mad, cause I'm fucking your bitch. And stop playing with me, nigga, talking about I'm snitching. Rest in piss a little Chris. Yeah, I know they fucking miss him. I'm not a real rapper, I'm a fucking grave digger. Throw his ass off a bridge like they did see this. For getting new details about the Hampton University student who fell to his death early this morning. Investigators still piecing together what happened in Richmond. Here's Marissa Jasek. Police say a Hampton University student fell to his death in Richmond early Friday morning. The body of 19-year-old Christopher Smith was found around 2.30 below the I-64 eastbound Shaco Valley Bridge. Man, I'm here every day, man. I'm not high. I'm not high. Just a few weeks after releasing the music video, the Ops called OG Man Man. On the night he was killed, Antonio Leach, a.k.a. OG Man Man, got a phone call from someone who wanted him to come over to a cookout behind the apartments on F Street in Southeast Washington, D.C. When he pulled up, it was already too late. Someone walked up and fired multiple shots into Man Man, ending his life. To YBC Duel, it might seem good soaking up all the clout. He was posted on a lot of the big blogs, and he seems to be trying to use this as marketing. Only time will tell how this plays out. I can't say I know how YBC Duel's story is going to end, but what I can say is that we've seen this behavior over and over again, and we see what it leads to. You want honey mustard, barbecue sauce, and sour? <laughs> I want the Ooga Booga sauce. I bet y'all won't take that. What a... <laughs> You know what the Ooga Booga sauce is? 
you want to know I won't take your order to get out my drive through list? Y'all got the ooga booga? You want to get out my drive through? I want the sweet and sour sauce. That's the ooga booga job. I need a ooga booga sheet. <laughs> Crazy by the legs, they drug into the hellfire. And we known for cracking eyes, just like Tony brought me down. The crew go walking off that job and left his face red like he rhymed. I catch him with them glasses, I'ma take him off his fucking face. The book was at the YMCA and he couldn't get away. Yumbo from the back, but I got chased down, you can't forget about yeah. I'ma leave it there for now. Thanks for watching American Confidential, and until next time, be safe.